So Deezer is the world's second largest music streaming service. Um, we are based in 183 countries. We offer a service which is freemium, uh, so you can access the service free of charge with advertising or for $9.99 a month as a premium service. So the main challenges we see in the market at the moment are taking the market from the early adopter segment to the mass market. At the moment, the audio economy is still growing at a very rapid rate and we sit, believe it can grow a great deal more. Uh, we also see an opportunity to unlock certain segments of the audience. So for example, Deezer works exclusively worldwide with Sonos to unlock the audiophile segment. That's a major opportunity for Deezer and we don't believe in one size fits all, but instead in the idea of unlocking certain target audiences with certain propositions. That's why we've worked closely with Sonos for the Elite product, which is our high-res audio service. We also see the challenge of trying to explain and convey the, the value and benefits of a service like Deezer, which is very much built on discovery. So at the moment, there's a great deal of physical sales still, but it's declining. The challenge is to get people to move from those physical sales and those digital downloads over to streaming. And we believe that's a challenge we're, we're well set to achieve. Partnerships are an absolutely fundamental part of the growth story for Deezer. We've done over 43 telco partnerships worldwide, and we see this as the means for unlocking large audience bases without having to commit large media spend to acquire customers direct to consumer. That is possible, but it's not the DNA of Deezer. Our DNA is very much focused around working with partners to offer our services alongside other subscription services, which is why we work closely with telcos all over the world. For example, EE in the UK, Orange in France, and Tigo in South America. Beyond that, we are going to work with partners to unlock certain audience verticals and super serving verticals with Deezer Elite and Sonos is a great example of that. New entrance into the streaming space will affect the market because it will actually increase the visibility of music streaming overall. We see a good halo effect from new entrants such as Tidal entering the market and talking about streaming and getting more coverage about streaming which raises the awareness. So we welcome uh, further entrance into the market. We believe there's a very, very large opportunity for all of us and we expect to be one of the successful parties uh, in, that, uh, in that growth story. The key trends uh, moving forwards in the future of music is going to be broadening the offering uh, in order to make it as wide as it can be. So, for example, in Deezer we already launched, uh, announced the launch last week of podcasts. We have over 20,000 podcasts on Deezer and you may not know but the podcast serial has been listened to more times than Mad Men and House of Cards put together. So we see a great value in broadening the audio proposition that we have beyond just music but into audio across the piece and as far as Deezer is concerned growing and being part of the growth of the audio economy is where we believe the opportunity lies.